Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of the video, today I'm going to be telling you why you should major in computer science. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also be sure to give this video a like if you enjoy it, but let's just go ahead and get started. So first off, a little bit of background about myself. I just graduated from Georgia Tech with a computer science degree and if you're familiar with Georgia Tech's computer science degrees, we have these things called threads, which are basically like concentrations. So my threads were people and intelligence and people um, was really just uh, HCI, human computer interaction, and then intelligence was artificial intelligence. So let's just go ahead and get started with the reasons why I think you should major in computer science. So first off, I think the most valuable aspect of majoring in computer science versus really any other major in my opinion is that you are learning a hard skill. So when I came into college, I came into college as a computer science major. I never changed my major, but during my freshman year fall, I was considering switching to industrial engineering. And obviously I ended up not switching. So what really made me not switch was the fact that I was learning a hard skill. And on top of that, when people see on my resume and they see that degree, they know that I do know that I do have that hard skill, if that makes any sense at all. So with IE, of course, I had to take, I would have had to have taken other computer science courses and other coding courses, but they would not have gone as in depth as my courses have. And secondly, on that idea of learning a hard skill, at Georgia Tech, every single student, no matter what major you are, has to take a programming and coding course. So for me, I truly believe that in the next probably like the next 50 years, you know, a, a little bit of ways from now, I think that computer science courses and programming courses are going to be integrated into the school systems and every student is going to need to learn how to code, just like how every student needs to learn how to, learns, needs to know how to do math. So on that note, I don't necessarily think that like a kindergartner is going to start learning how to code, but I do think that from a younger age, instead of just having people who are learning how to code at age 18, once they go into college, um, there'll be courses offered for like middle school and high school students for them to be able to take computer science courses consistently with their other courses. So I truly believe that it's a skill that's going to be necessary for the future and also a skill that truly separates you from all of your other peers. So mainly with this first point, I just want to hone in on the fact that computer science, it is more than coding but you are learning how to code and program which is a very valuable skill to have reason number two is that you can actually work anywhere so obviously this is kind of not necessarily like a silly reason but with certain majors like for example let's say you are a chemical engineer so a chemical engineer i automatically think of like big oil when i think of chemical engineering but a chemical engineer has to really work in a space that is specifically for chemical engineering whereas with computer science i could work at an oil company or I could work at a tech company, or I could work at a financial company. I can work at pretty much any company that I want to because every single company needs programmers. Every single company needs UX designers. Every single company needs software engineers. So computer science is a, a major that really allows you to open so many doors in so many different fields that you might not have even considered. With computer science, it is universal. Obviously, different languages have different or different languages, different companies, different they have different coding styles, they have different everything. But at the same time, the foundation of what you what skills that you have is the same. Next, this kind of goes in on the work anywhere idea, and I kind of painted at a couple career paths. But computer science is a lot more interdisciplinary than a lot of people think. So when I came into college, I had the notion that computer science was very like you have to be good at math, you have to be really analytical, da 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 da, and that's like what I felt I was. So I was like, oh. I'm a creative person, but I'm not really going to use that in my computer science degree. Completely wrong. Obviously, you can go more of that very logical, analytical math route if you want to become like a data scientist. Um, literally forgot any other career field in there. But if you want to do something that's very like concrete computer scientist, computer science, then you could go that route. But you can also go a much more creative route. You can become a UX designer, a UX researcher, you could only work on front end. Um, and of course, you could go the classic route of becoming a software engineer. But really, computer science is a lot more interdisciplinary than I ever imagined. Um, as I said before, my threads were um, people and intelligence. And I really had that best in both worlds of where artificial intelligence, I took classes in machine learning. Um, I took two classes in machine learning, actually. <laughs> so I was going to say my other classes. I took classes in machine learning, like algorithms. It was very like, you know, 
what you think of as computer science being. And then on my people side, I took classes like cognitive science. I took educational technology and I had the opportunity to take these more creative courses where I was still obviously leveraging my computer science skills, but I wasn't necessarily, you know, only it wouldn't be what someone would think that a computer scientist would do. So there are a ton of career paths for computer science. There isn't just a single set one. You don't have to become a software engineer if you study computer science. Um, you can literally become anything that you want just because you have that valuable skill of programming, but then you also have all of these other skills that you build up on um, when you take these courses. Fourthly, computer science is extremely hands-on, but it can also be extremely theoretical. So I really like the way the computer science program was done at Georgia Tech. I can't really speak for all colleges, but I felt like I really had the best in both worlds of taking very like upper level theoretical courses and then also taking very like hands-on practical pragmatic coding courses. Um, of course, I'm being honest, I really did not care for the theory. Um, really did not like I'm thinking about <laughs> the classes they took and it's just like I knew I would never knew them again. But I know that people who wanted to, you know, maybe get their PhD and study HACCP diagrams and study post sets and study all these really the high level theoretical realms of computer science, you can do that. So you don't have to do that hands-on route of only becoming a software engineer or becoming a product manager or becoming a UX researcher. Uh, I guess that's more theoretical too, but you can also go the other route of becoming, getting your PhD and studying something that's more theoretical. So like I said, it, this truly does depend on how your college does it, but I do think that most colleges, you kind of take a mix of the same courses. I can't really speak for anything, but Georgia Tech's computer science program, top notch with the way that they mix theoretical with hands-on. Of course, at the time, I wasn't crazy about it. I really didn't care for my theory classes, but made it out. The reason is that computer science, and this is specifically to programming, is very impactful. If you've ever programmed before, you know that like r being able to write a line of code and then seeing what it does right after, that isn't really typical in most careers. You know, you kind of get that satisfaction of being able to like solve a math problem, except you're able to like visually see what you did. So computer science itself is just a very hands-on and impactful uh, major to major in, especially if you're the type of person that really needs to like see something happen instantly. And lastly, this is probably like my favorite, all-time favorite reasoning for computer science. I know the first one I really emphasized, that one was like a very practical reason, but this one is like truly where my passion comes from of why I picked the major, but it is a continuous learning cycle. I just graduated from college um, and I feel like I know absolutely nothing, if I'm being completely honest. That's probably just my imposter syndrome talking, but the world of computer, like I haven't even dipped my toe into what computer science is and what there is to know. There, It is ever advancing and there is just so, so, so much to learn. So I personally feel like there is no mastery with computer science. Um, you know, even our homeboy, Alan Turing, the father of computer science, he did not master it because it was advancing as his life ended tragically. But you understand I'm saying that like with computer science, there is no cap. There is no, you, you don't know everything about computer science and it's impossible to because we are advancing so rapidly in the field of technology. So hopefully all of those reasons helped you kind of consider why you should major in computer science. I know that they weren't very like concrete, but overall, if you are just about to go to college and you have like literally no idea what to major in, if you are tenacious and you think that you would like programming and you're kind of interested in it, I would highly recommend just, you don't have to commit to the major, but take a computer science course in the fall and see how you like it. And if you enjoy it, choose it as your major. If you are undecided, I Phones just stop recording on me, but if you are undecided, be sure to consider taking a computer science course in the fall just because that'll really help you figure out if it's a major that you want to pick. Overall, hopefully some of these tips helped you and helped you consider why I like computer science and why I think you should be a computer science major. If you're a computer science major yourself, be sure to leave me a comment down below about extra, you know, things that are good about computer science. Um, and if you are considering it, be sure to ask me questions because I pretty much reply all my comments. And I also answer my DMs on Instagram. So if you ever have any questions about computer science or even Georgia Tech, literally just message me on Instagram and I will get back to you at some point. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys.